It started with 21 friends on a deserted island. Peaceful, I think not. When a coconut is used to murder one of the girls, the friends are shocked. Beneath their sadness and grief lies suspicion. The knowledge that one of them killed her leads to sleepless nights. Every person is a suspect. And somewhere among the creepy smiles and the bloody mystery lies the veiled truth. Alliances are made. Friendships tested. are made. Why don't we use math? And they do whatever it takes to find the truth. The Math Games, Mr. Olsen style, starring the dorks from District X Squared. For the first part of this murder mystery, we had to heat up a cup of water and measure the temperature at certain time intervals. So we heated up the um, cup of water and a good starting temperature would be something well above the room temperature. So the room temp of my house was 70 degrees. <laughs> 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So I heated up the water to 196. And this is the table of temperatures. So at like zero minutes is 196, at like 60 is 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna make a graph. This is a dementia graph. And we're gonna make y, we're gonna make the y-axis the temperature and the x-axis is going to be the minutes. So we're going to start here at 70 degrees, which is room temp, and 70, 80, and 90. Awkward bell. So I just kind of keep it like that right now. And so, because our last value is 90 degrees, so 90 minutes. So we're going to plot the points now. And the first point is at zero minutes, 196, which is right here. And then at four minutes, which <laughs> and you get this curve decay graph. It's an exponential graph. And the reason why it has to be exponential and it can't be like a straight line is because as you look, it starts off the 
falling temps goes really steep and then it starts to get lesser and lesser and doesn't fall as fast. So if we had a linear function, it would have to, like every five degrees, it'd have to drop one temperature. And that's not what happens here. It starts off dropping down fast, and then it, as it gets closer to room temp, it gets not as steep. So graph, it's decreasing, and it can't get lower than 70 degrees. And that's because the room temperature was 70 degrees, and we know for Newton's law of cooling, this is the asymptote, it's going to it, approach it, but it can't get lower than that. So that's when it will be cold, it will be room temperature. And now I'm going to show you how to get an equation that models this data. So we're going to plug in this into Newton's law of cooling. So the first one is going to be the last temperature we've recorded, which is 89 degrees. So 89 minus this area, the room temperature, which is 70 degrees, equals the initial temp, which is 196. 196 minus the room temperature, 70. And then E to the, what was the time? When it was 89, it was 90 minutes. So 90K is going to be right there. So we're going to subtract 89 minus 70, which is 19, equals 126 e to the 90K. And then divide both sides by 126. So 19, 126 equals e to the 90k. And then to get rid of e, we have to take the ln of both sides. I mean, we have to take the ln of both sides. <laughs> and then these two just simplify. So we have the ln of 19 divided by 126, which would be this really long number, which is like negative 1.8918 is equal to 90k, oops, 90k, and then we both divide both sides by 90, and we get that k is equal to negative 0 0.021. Yeah, and then to derive an equation from this data, we're gonna have, we're gonna we're gonna make since our y-axis is the temperature we're gonna make this y, and we're gonna do it minus the room temp, which is 70, equals the initial temp, which is 196 minus 70 is equal to e to the k, and then since our x-axis is time we're gonna make that x. So y is equal to 126 e to the k. Oops, we know k, so we can put it in there. k is negative point zero two one x, and then you have to bring the 70 over, so plus 70. So that's our equation for this data. x equals 2.30, about, you know, approximate. So that means 230 minutes later, the hot water will be 71 degrees Fahrenheit. I said 71. You can stop it now, Bridge. Okay, so first we take Newton's law of cooling and we plug in an 81 to the T because that's the final temperature. And then we take an 80, which is the outside temperature, and plug it into T and DS, which is equal to 176, which is the initial temperature, minus the outside temperature to the E K. T. That's the K stands for constant and the T stands for time. 
And after that, you subtract this side, so this is 1. And you subtract inside the parentheses 96 e 60 k. And the 60 is the amount of time that we spent, you spent an overall hour measuring the coffee. And now, you, t so you divide both sides by 96, so you have 1 over 96 equals e to the 60 k. Then you take the ln of both sides, and you end up with negative 4.56 is equal to 60 k. And then you divide both sides by 60, so you have k is equal to negative 0 0.761, 0 0.761. And that's your answer for the first hour. Now we're measuring for the coffee for a two hour span. So we're gonna keep T, the final temperature as a T, and then we're gonna subtract the outside temperature and the initial temperature subtracted by the outside temperature e to the 120, which is two hours, and negative point oh seven six one, which is the answer we got last time. Now we're going to leave t minus 80, or we're going to do 96 e to negative 9.132, which is these two multiplied. And now we're going to, because this is an equation, we're going to multiply this all out. We're going to get t minus 80 is equal to 0.0103. Now we're going to add 80 to both sides. And we have t is equal to 80. 0 0.0103. And this is the final temperature after two hours. Now we're going to keep the same equation, but we're going to do it for three hours. So I'm just going to plug all the numbers in. E to the 180, because that's three hours. And then we're going to use the same, this number again that's the constant. Now we leave this the same and we multiply this out which equals negative 13.698 and now for the next step we multiply this out because this is an equation. We get 0 0.0001, and then we add 80 to both sides. So our final answer is t equals 80.0001. And then the asymptote for all three of them is y equals 80. So, Bridget is dead, and uh, we're, we've now got to figure out who killed her. So, we're going to use Newton's Law of Cooling. So, as you can see here, we've got Newton's Law of Cooling. Now, we're going to... So, we found her at 1 o'clock. She was dead, and her body temperature was 96.1 degrees. And at 2 p.m., it was 91.7 degrees. So, we're going to plug that in to Newton's law of cooling. So, T is 91.7 minus 80. T of S is the outside temperature. The island's temperature is 80 degrees. And that is equal to 98.6, which is her original body temperature, minus 80. E to 60K because 60 is how long it is between 1 <laughs> and 2 o'clock. Now, we're going to solve for k. So, 
we get 11.7 is equal to 16.1 e to the 60k. Now we're going to divide both sides by 16.1, so we get 11.7 over 16.1 is equal to e 60k. Now we're going to take the ln of both sides. which is negative uh, 0.3192 equals 60k. And then we divide that by 60, and we get negative 0 0.0053 is equal to k. And that is k, which we are now going to plug it back into Newton's law of cooling to figure out how long Bridget has been dead. Now, We've got k, which is negative 0 0.0053, which we are now going to figure out, use to figure out how long Bridget's been dead. So, t, 96.1, minus 80, is equal to, what? Yeah. 98.6 minus 80, e, to the negative 0 0.0053 t. So, 16.1 is equal to 18.6 e to the negative 0 0.0053 t. So, we're going to take, we're going to divide by 18.6, 16.1, 0.1 over 18.6, and we're going to take the ln of both sides. So, the ln of 16.1 over 18.6 is equal to negative 0.0053t. So, the ln of 16.1 over 18.6 is negative 0.1443. That's equal to negative 0.0053t we're going to divide both sides by negative 0 0.0053, which gives us 27.132t equals t. <clears throat> now that we know Bridget's been dead for approximately 27 minutes, we know that we found her at 1 p.m. So, if we subtract 27 from 1 p.m., we'll find the four people who were the closest, who were near that spot that she died at the time closest to that time. So, she died at approximately 12.33 a.m. No, p.m. A.m., p.m., 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 12.33 p.m. So, the four people who were closest to her at around 12.33 we're Olivia and Matt Dunn, Matt Finn, and Madison, and we'll figure out who the killer is in part four. No, Olsen's dead. But, you know, so am I, too. So whatever. Okay, so for part four of our murder mystery, we find Olsen dead, and we are, we are told that his body temperature is 93.1 degrees at the time of 9.43 a.m. Oops. <laughs> okay, and then it tells us that it was 87.2 degrees at 10.13 a.m. So, with our Newton's Law of Cooling, we plug in these numbers to find, find the time Olsen was killed. So, we plug in... Sorry. <laughs> we plug in 87.2 2 minus 80 equals 93.1 minus 80 e to the 30k. And we're solving for k in this equation. Then it becomes 7.2 is equal to... Okay, so then 7.2 is equal to 13.1 
E K A to the thirty K. Then we do seven point two over thirteen point one is equal to E to the thirty <laughs> e to the 30k, and we did this because we have to get the 13.1 out of that side. So now what we have is k is equal to 0.01995, and that is. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> and that is uh, rounded up to just negative zero point oh two. Negative point zero? Yeah. Negative point zero nine five. Okay. okay. And then uh, oh, since we found that k is equal to negative zero point two, we plug that into the k and we look to find the t. So our equation is ninety three point one minus eighty is equal to 98.6 minus 80 e to the negative 0.2t. You can't really see that, but it's negative 0.02t. And we're solving for the t. Then we would have 1, I mean 13.1 is equal, equal to 18.6 e raised to the negative 0.02 t. Then 13.1 divided by 18.6 is equal to e, sorry, is equal to e <laughs> to the negative Point O two T. And then so then to get rid of the E you take the Ln of both sides. So Ln and then I'll just put like a little Ln right here. So that would become negative point three five O oh, oh five is equal to negative point O two T. And then what we do then is subtract, I mean, divide the negative O, negative O2 from both sides, and we get T is equal to 17.52. And that's how we solve that. Okay, so since we have the time in that equals 17.52, we can round 17.52 up to 18. So it's like 18 minutes. So what we do is we take the time up here that we found Olsen dead and we subtract it by 18. So 9.43 minus 18 is equal to 9.25. So this was the time Olsen was dead and he was killed. So through our research and finding our four sus suspects of part three, there is only one person who is not doing something in their alibi during the time of 925, and that person is Madison. You killed us.